Ze kubinji Hallelujah Welcome to the show My name is Mugaru Moses First and foremost I want to greet you In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ Praise the living God The King of Kings uh, I, I would like to first extend our sincere greetings to our followers, the viewers uh, who always check on. They see how things are moving on our channel. I would like to extend our sincere greetings to people who support this vision, most especially the people who are sharing our videos, the people who are commenting, Maria, Flavia, uh, Pepe, uh, Joseph, uh, Sesan, Derek and very many people. I can't mention all of you and I finish you, but I would like to thank you, you people. May God really bless you and bless you abundantly. There is nothing that I can give you as a man, but the Lord is going to bless you according to what you are doing to the work of his kingdom. You should remember and know that we are in the later days, and since we are in the later days, the gospel of oh, the dimensions of the gospel in the spiritual realm has totally changed. And that's the reason why whenever we come to you, we deliver a unique gospel to you. Yeah, we are not in the seasons of the prosperity gospel, though we also need the prosperity. We need to prosper in life. That's the reason why we have to balance these things. But the one thing that I can tell you is that everything is in the kingdom of god that's the reason why jesus christ said that seek first the kingdom of the lord and his righteousness and then other things shall be added unto you today's topic i want to talk about elevation that is our theme for these 90 days that we are into the presence of god through prayer and fasting elevation there are people who are in the situation they are elevated to high places you are in above places but you can't deliver the expectation is that people who are seeing you in those elevated places where you are you can't deliver the services that they are expecting from you you're like a tree which are, which has very many leaves but you can't bear fruits that's the reason why even Jesus Christ cast the tree. The tree was highly elevated. The tree was above all other trees. To reach to an extent that it even caught the attention of Jesus Christ to come where the tree was. But when Jesus came where the tree was, he found nothing on the tree. And yet the tree was highly elevated. That is what I'm talking about, you people. You are elevated. There is a press that you are in there is an above place where you are maybe academically let, let me not talk about financial first academically uh, maturely <laughs> your age you are mature when a person looks at you you are the eldest brother you are the eldest sister now your follower siblings they are ex they are expectant there are things that they are expecting from you. You must deliver a service to them as an eldership dream to them. But you can't deliver. You don't have the service. You can't deliver. You can't deliver the expectations these people are expecting from you. So we've entered into these 90 days of prayer and fasting. The, the major purpose for these 90 days is that may God give us the grace, may, may the Lord provide to us the, the labor pants such that we can push what we must deliver into the into people's lives. We the, the leaders, you are leader, you are elevated. People are seeing you being driven in the government cars, they think that you have a lot of money, but you, you also have nothing to deliver. What are we going to do? Let us cry unto God. We have entered into these 90 days of prayer and fasting, but the major focus is that we want 
to the river, we want to give birth what we must give birth to. We have to deliver the expectation that people are having from us. There is a man that I want us to share about, and that is Job. Job was a God-fearing man. To the extent that God have reached a level of recognizing you that you are a righteous person, that means that you are righteous. It is really indeed Job was a righteous man. But there is a trial which came in Job's life. And no man could understand this. Even Job himself, at first I think, Job himself could not understand what is happening in my life. Am I a sinner? Because when I check my ways, when I examine my life, I for, for sure I see there is nothing evil identified in my life. But what's happening? Those are the questions that Job had in his mind. Because we remember, we are going when you read the book of John, chapter four, Job, chapter forty, you're going to realize that even God came to Job and started rebuking him. For the complaints that was in Job's mind, Job did not uh, abuse or rebuked God publicly or openly or physically. But uh, Job inside his heart, he was complaining. He reached even on the level of cursing the day he was born. He said that he may darkness come and destroy that day where my mom gave birth, the, the day that my mom gave birth to me. That means that the man was in too much pain. Now, if Job reached an, a, a level and he understood this, Job had friends who knew that this was a righteous man. They were expecting only good things to happen in Job's life from God. But the things were, not, were happening the other way around. Now, let me first read this scripture for you. Because when the friends of Job came to him, we thought that at first when they came, we thought that they have come to nurse the wounds that was on his heart. But when they came, they became judges. They started hammering nails, condemning, nailing down their friend. Why? The man was too righteous, it was indeed. And even his friends could see and could identify that this man is righteous. But the things that were happening in his life, they, they were not the things that we were expecting to be happening in Job's life. The book of Job chapter 35, it says, Moreover, Elihu answered and said, Do you think this is right? <laughs> this, these were Job's friends. They were his fellow ministers. If Job was a minister, these were his fellow ministers. They have come to pay a visit because they had heard what had happened in his life. But when they came, these are the, the questions that they started to tell Job. They had a conversation that I'm not going to give to you, but I'm going to paraphrase it. And I give it to you because of the limited time and I don't want to consume much of your data. When they came, Job tried to explain to them that this is not for the, for the evil or for the bad cause. This is happening in my life for the glorification of God. But his friends, one of his friends came and said, Moreover, Elihu, moreover, Elihu. Why is the Bible saying that moreover? The Bible is saying that moreover because this was, this, he was a closest friend of Job. But when he, the, the Bible says that moreover, this was unexpected. But to the extent that Elihu came, and made that these statements, even the Bible, even God is saying that, oh, indeed, moreover, even a friend have come to an extent of nailing his friend. Moreover, Eric answered and said, do you think this is right, Job? You want to explain to us, you want to convince to us that this, what is happening to you, it is happening for the good cause. Have you ever been in such a situation? You were the elder brother, you were the older sister. You've flied, you know, in, in, in our African countries, when a person flies to, gets a flight to 
and other countries. We expect that this person, that person is going to come back with the wealth. And when you are still there, people are going to use internet vessels to reach you out. Why? They are seeking for help. They expect that for you, the person who have gone abroad, you have a lot of money than them. But even you outside there where you are, you have nothing to deliver to them. And now, moreover, Eric was, uh, was asking Job, you, do you want to convince to us that the, that the wounds, your children, your children to die, your cows to die, your donkeys, your camels, your servants to die, all of your properties to, to be destroyed. Do you want to convince to us that uh, it was for the good cause? Do you think we are fools? Maybe you've seen that there is a place where you made a brand and you don't want us.